Hi and welcome, Martina here with a really quick and easy last minute New Year card. I am almost done with my Christmas projects and thought it would be great to have something for a new year. I have some amazing clover dice by Alexandra Renke, a brand new 22 stamp set and a bunch of Distress Oxides and WOW embossing powders. When it comes to the powders, I'm not sure yet which ones I will be using, but I think I'll figure out just in the process. To get something like a background paper, I'm using mixed media paper. It's just a piece of mixed media paper. And I started to add the Distress Oxides to my mixed media mat, which came with the mixed media glass mat from Tim Holtz. And I'm just pushing the ink pad down to the mat, adding water, dipping my paper in with more or less pressure. More pressure is more smoogy and less pressure gives you more drippy accents on your paper. I think that could make sense to explain it. And I am just building cover, building layers with the colors. I started with shabby shutters. I'm moving on with mode lawn. And at the end, I will be using rustic wilderness. I thought that could be a nice, bright color combination for a lucky clover. And please excuse my voice. My throat is really sore and the voiceover just has to be done, so just ignore it and watch the process. Oh, and as Tim always says, and I don't watch him a lot, but he says if you're adding just enough water to the Distress Oxides until the color is starting to get pearly, you can dip the, pa the paper really lightly into the color and you get these amazing pearly effects, which I absolutely love. And you see, it's really easy as is, dipping, drying, dipping, drying, just until I liked the coverage of the color enough. And then, as usual, cleaning of the workplace and making sure that the whole panel is really, really completely dry because I don't like to have color residue on my die cutting machine. And die cutting is the thing I will be doing next. So. I just made sure it's dry. Right now, I am deciding if I should maybe add some stamping with embossing ink to my colored panel and then add some golden accents maybe on the paper. But then I decided to stay pretty clean with my design and just die cut my created pattern paper and leave the colored cloves, clovers, it's not clove, it's clovers, sorry, as they are. As I've been deciding that the clovers will be pretty clean and simple, I decided the whole card will be pretty clean and simple. And I didn't dry emboss or add any sparkles to the background. I will just add this 2022 stamp by Alexandra Renke with the Wow Ultra Slow Drying Embossing Ink and pour some metallic gold rich over it. Since the design will be really, really clear, I tried to get rid of all these little speckles that stayed at one place on my paper and I'm just heat setting it. And I absolutely, I, I, I would love to give that card away like this because I love clean and simple designs. I've put a piece of Elizabeth Crafts double-sided adhesive tape to cardstock and die cut my clovers again. And now I am adding the Wow Gold Dust Sparkles to all three clovers that I have been, well, clover stickers I actually created. And like this, I will have a bunch of green clovers, a bunch of golden sparkly clovers, which can be combined for my card projects. As I'm done with all my preparations for my decorations, I am gluing my 
background paper to my card base and I am starting to play with my clovers. I will end up with using two clovers for the card and I've been adding a thicker thread, which I really like as a nice little accent on the cards, but everything else won't appear on that card. I won't have any sequins or splatters, as I already mentioned. It will just be really, really nice, clean and simple. But I have been using some 3D foam pads to add the clovers. Like this, the card has at least a little dimension and interest to it. And I've been struggling if I should hang the clovers from the top of the card or if they should grow from the bottom of the card. And on the end, I decided that they should kind of grow from the bottom of the card because I just I, I liked it more with the stamping on the bottom left corner. Since I had so many clovers left, I created some tags using dry embossing and ribbon. And I just can't wait to give them away because the end of the year is near. <laughs> and so is this video. We are at the end. I really hope you liked it. I hope you feel inspired and I wish you a wonderful time. See you next time. Bye.